Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a Facebook cover page with multiple layers. I had a couple people ask me about it um, in the video before I showed you how to make just a one layer. So I'm going to show you how to make um, different layers for it. So we're going to get right to it. Um, if you want to follow along, feel free to pause it and go back, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and quickly go through this with you. And if you have any questions, just um, leave me a message and I will get back to you. Okay, so you're going to open up the program and what I use is GIMP. It's called, spelled G-I-M-P. It's a free program you can use. And personally, I love it. I mean, it, to each his own, but, but I love it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the program and you're going to go over here and you're going to go to File. And then you're going to go to New because you're creating something new. So you're going to click New. And then you want your width to be at 851 and your height to be at 315. And then you want to click here on Advanced Options and you want your X resolution and your Y resolution um, between 2 and 300. And then you click OK. I don't know why every time I get on here to do this, my computer freezes up on me. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now you have a blank canvas. So now you want to put something in it. So you're going to go here, you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Open as Layers. So you click that, or these are little shortcuts. You can click Control Alt and the the bleh, the O and it'll open it but I just I click it so and then you want to go into your files to wherever you have your digital clip art and I have a lot of, of files so um, it, it's overwhelming at times but um, okay so we're gonna go ahead and we will go let's see what color do we want to do Let's just go ahead and go with the purple. So now when it opens, you can see that it's obviously way too big. So you're going to go over here and you're going to left click to highlight that. This is the background. So you want to highlight the one that you want to shrink. And then I right click it and I go up to scale layer and you click it. And your canvas is 851. So I go ahead and do 851. You don't have to worry about the height, just do 851, enter, and then scale, and it'll scale it down. Now, if you want this to be, say, the top half, then you want to make sure this is highlighted, and you want to make sure your plus sign over here is clicked, and then you click in the area, and then you can use your up and down arrow buttons on your keyboard to move it up and down. Or you can do it with your mouse, but then you have a chance of getting it off the canvas, and sometimes it's just really hard to, to see it. So, okay, now we want to do a bottom half, so we're going to go back over here to File, and we're going to open it as another layer. And this time we will go, let's go with Dots. Um... Oh, come on, computer. Keep going blue. Sometimes don't you just want to, like, scream at your computer? I don't think it'll help, but... Okay, we're just going to go with this, since it's not cooperating. <clears throat> okay, so once again, it's way too big, so you're going to go here and you're going to highlight the layer that you want to change. Right click, left click on scale layer. You want to go 851 again, enter, and scale. And then make sure that's highlighted, and then click on the plus sign, click in the middle, and use your down arrow and it's going to go down. Okay. 
Okay, so now we want usually put a border across here. So we're going to go back here to File. So every time you add a layer, you're just going to go to File and then Open as Layers. And then we're going to go back to the clip art. Maybe. Oh, come on. It does just fine when I don't have to record. Well, I apologize. I was trying to move move right along here, but here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to borders. Um, we'll just stick with glitter since we're. Well, actually, I think we have purples right here. Let's see what's in here. Um, we'll just go with that. This may not look good, but I'm just showing you how to add it. So, okay. So now usually with the borders, I go a little bit more than the 851 width because for some reason when they get smaller, it seems like they get not as wide. I don't understand that, but so usually I'll go with about 900. Enter again. Don't worry about the bottom number. Click scale and there's your border and you can move it however you want. Okay, so now we're gonna add, say we're gonna add a frame. So we're gonna go to File, Open as Layers, and then we're gonna go to our frame. Um, what are we gonna go with? We'll go with glitter. And we'll go with the silver, let me see here. Um, let's go with the hot pink. Okay, as you can see, it didn't show up because it's way too big. So you got to left click and then right click and then click on scale layer. And usually with a Facebook cover, I usually put it at about between three and 400, but it depends on the frame. Sometimes the frame is too big when you do that. Like that one, it's too big. So we're going to scale it down a little bit more. So we'll go to 350, and it's still too big, so we're going to go 300. Okay, now I personally, I like, <clears throat> excuse me, I like this frame to be a little wider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to grab my scale tool, which is right here. <clears throat> I'm going to click on it. Click over here on that, whatever it is you're, that you're wanting to move, and then you click on it, and it's going to bring up this grid around it. So I want to move it this way and this way. So you grab the circle. I'm, I'm sorry, that's a square. The square, and then you pull it, and the same on the other side. You pull it, and then go down here and click on scale, and it'll scale it. Now, if you want to put a color in there, you're going to click on the f glitter frame. Then you go over here and click what color you want. So let's say we'll go with a lavender. So you click on your lavender. OK. And it's going to freeze up on me. OK, then you click on the bucket. Looks like a little paint bucket with paint coming out. So you click on that, and then you come over here and click in the middle where you want to add your color. So there's your purple. Okay, now say you want to add a text. So you go over here and click the A, and then you click the color that you want to change it to. It's going to freeze up again. There we go. Um, we will do, what color do we want to do? 
Let's do, we'll do white. Come on. I apologize, usually this does not do this. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna need to go bigger than 18. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try 36. And then we will just type in the, no, that did not change color. Hang on a minute. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna go completely back out of here. So we are gonna delete that. Okay, back to square one. So we're gonna put a color in here. So you click the A, which is the for text. The color, we're gonna go maybe, let's change the color first. Okay. The Witch's Boutique. Okay, so then you ha you just type that in there. Now, if you want it bold, you just highlight it, and then you click on your bold or however you want to do it. If you want to move it, make sure that you left click over here on the text, click on your move tool, and then come down here, and you can move it wherever you want it. And then say you want to add something else, you go to add layers. We will add, say we'll add a bow. And we'll go with, we'll just go with a pink bow. I know this probably doesn't look very good, but I'm just trying to get the, so you're gonna scale it, and we're gonna go 200 on that. And then you can move it wherever you want it. And then if you wanna add something else, you just go to File, Open as Layers. So just remember that you always have to open it as, as layers. So say you wanna add So you wanted this cute little girl. So you just double click on it. Obviously she's too big, so you wanna go over here, highlight, right click, scale layer. We'll put her at about 200. And then you can move her wherever you want. So that is how you do it. And then you can change the color of her bow if you wanted. If you wanted to change it to purple, then you would go over here and get this little fuzzy select tool and then you click on the bow and if you wanted to change it to white then just leave it as white get your bucket tool and then it changes it and you just keep doing that until you get get it the way you want it so that is how you do a multi-layer Facebook cover page I guess it doesn't look too bad for just picking and choosing, but anyway, if you have any questions, um, please leave me a message and I will get back to you. So thanks for watching, guys.